So we've had a bunch of things about class design and when to use and when to not use things. And I'm going to go for something a little bit less um, theoretical and something eminently practical. And it's about finding bugs in your code, um, finding bugs with address sanitizer. Now, I know that many of you are using address sanitizer already, but I suspect a lot of you are not and may not even know about it. And so I want to give you a quick tutorial on address sanitizer. So imagine you have a piece of code that looks like this. Now, I've stripped away thousands of lines of code here. So I have just the salient bits. I have a function called alloc foo, which allocates some memory and stashes it in a global pointer. Yeah, I know, global pointer. Um, and I have a function called set foo, which sets one of the ints in this pointer. It takes an index and a value. Very simple, very straightforward. And there's hundreds or thousands of lines in between this, and there's thousands of lines after this. So the question is, what happens when you do this? Well, the easy answer is you have a buffer overflow, right? You're allocating five, five ints, and you are writing to the fifth int, zero or the sixth int, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So what happens? Okay, the, the next easy answer is you have undefined behavior in your program. Your program can do anything. Okay, yes, but what happens? Well, on this machine, on my Mac, nothing in particular, nothing untoward, and that is a because the underlying memory manager allocates things in multiples of 16 bytes, and so there's extra space on the end of this heap block. And so this write hits unused space in the heap that is not currently being used for anything else, and things just work. And then I take this code to some other platform where the underlying memory manager is different, and maybe it works, and maybe it doesn't. And worse, maybe it works 99 times out of 100, or 999 times out of 1,000. But that one time out of 1,000, that stray right hits something and damages my heap, and the program continues to run for a while. How long? I don't know, hours. And then suddenly it crashes in some place. And you're looking there, you're looking at a core dump, and you're looking at the smoking remains of what used to be a memory heap. And you're wondering, how the heck did it get this badly mangled? And the problem is that the initial damage, the, the thing that kicked it all off was so long ago that you don't have a hope in, on God's earth of finding it. So. I hate bugs like this. These are really, really annoying. Debugging is a pain. So we have a tool now called Address Sanitizer, and I'd love to take credit for it. I would be really proud if I had written it, but I didn't. Um, a group of people at uh, the, the Google Russian office in Moscow wrote it oh, probably eight or nine years ago. Anyway, but how does it work? Address Sanitizer is a compiler pass and a customized runtime library. You build your program with Address Sanitizer enabled, and it changes the memory layout of your program, and it instruments your program so that every read and write to memory is checked to make sure it goes where it's supposed to or does not go in some random place. Um, this changes the memory layout. Um, it adds some overhead. It adds about 20% performance to your program, and depending on your program, maybe double takes double the amount of memory. So every heap block, for example, gets a guard page on each side of it, and same with your globals. So you, know, you, you, you end up using more memory. But what do you do? You just you build with Azure Sanitizer, and you run it. You test it. You don't have to ship this version to your customers or anything like that. You just test it locally. For many, many years, there's been a similar program to this called Valgrind that works on random executables. It, you don't have to do a special build for that. But Valgrind is a great program. I mean, I'm in awe of the people who came up with it. But it has a much higher overhead than address sanitizer. Um, anyway, so how do you do this? Clang plus plus, you add dash f sanitize equals address to your build script. That's it. One, one line, one option. That's it. And so what happens when you run this? Boom, you run it, and it says, jumps onto your console in bright, friendly red letters saying, you screwed up. Actually, it says, 
we have a heap overflow, heap buffer overflow on address, and it gives you a stack trace of exactly where the buffer overflow happened. Exactly where. Start, main, set foo. With this, you can figure out how you got here, and you can even attach a debugger to it or something and figure out, oh, I got here with a five. How did that five get there? And besides that, it also tells you this. It tells you exactly where the heat buffer the block was allocated. Start main alloc foo calling wrap xenam, you know, something inside the macOS memory manager. So now you have two pieces of information, two stack traces, where your block was allocated, because sometimes, you know, if you had a big program, you might be allocating in lots of places, and where the buffer flow over buffer overflow occurred. And in my experience, this has always been enough to identify exactly what's going wrong. Anyway, availability. Address sanitizer has been available on Clang for, ooh, going, coming up on seven years. It's been available on GCC for ooh, five years or so. And as of two and a half weeks ago, late October, it is available on Visual Studio as well. So, go out there and find your, your heap overflow bugs and fix them. Get rid of them, uh, get them out of your software. Your software will be more reliable. Hopefully, you will get rid of those one in a thousand crashes. It also works on stack overflow, buffer overflows on the stack and in your global variables. Thank you. <laughs>